Hello everyone, rat trapping tips, and it is the 7th of November 2022, and uh, today during my doing my rounds, checking my traps in about six or seven different properties, I came across this old abandoned trap up in a wood wood shed and it's very rusty on the springs so what I like to do with the rusty springs is give them a really good heavy squirt of oil just any kind of oil motor oil heavy lubricating oil and that gives you a lot more power in your trap and makes it operate a lot smoother because sometimes those springs almost rust themselves solid and when you're trying to work the trap it's very hard to operate and uh, by oiling the springs heavily and working the oil right through the springs uh, you get rid of that problem and you get your springs back and your your trap is good for an indefinite time but if you don't oil it then the springs actually will rust through this the kill bar will rust through everything will rust through so I've stapled in spread the springs apart and then staple them with a staple gun a couple of staples to keep the springs spread apart and that gives me a bit of extra power now I'm gonna put a staple this fencing staple a regular fencing staple which I like to bang up a bit just to narrow it up and it gives it more depth and it means it goes into the wood so I put that about the middle like that in there and then hammer it and it flattens the springs right down and uh, gives you a good a good extra bit of power in the springs by compressing them I don't know what it would be but I suspect it's at least 10% more power in the springs and uh, well, if you've got two or three rats feeding on the bait you want that extra 10% because that'll make the difference between killing two rats and killing three rats and uh, always a bonus to get two or three rats when you're only expecting to get one because heck you don't have to do all that extra work to get those extra rats. There they are. So, so I cut my cloth out, a bit of old bath towel, about a one inch square, roll it up a bit, and then put it under the, the bait tab, lift the bait tab up a bit if it's not enough room. So I've got my absorbent cloth there for the peanut butter, soak it in peanut butter. And then you just crimp the you just crimp the tab on the bait plate like that. Make sure it holds the wad tightly. And um, so that part's ready to go. Now this staple, look at that, how it's lifted up. And this is what happens. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna is we're gonna this uh, should be right down so we're going to hammer that right through and bend it over on the other side and we'll try and do that this they always have one long staple on these traps the left hand if you're looking like this the left hand staple is always quite a bit longer than that one I don't know why they do that but it comes out of the factory every time like that so you've got one long staple one shorter but and that one easily goes right through and you can bend it over this one's a bit harder to get to go right through but usually you can still do it enough and you've got enough, just enough on the short staple underneath, just enough to bend it over. And um, in that way, and you've got your metal staple there holding it, helping to hold it in. So this trap, once we've done this, it'll never come apart. And it's got a lot more power than a standard trap. So, okay, so let's get our punch, and we will punch that staple right through. 
Hmm. It didn't even come through the other side. I don't know what's going on there. Definitely went down deep into the wood, uh, but it didn't come through the other side. Okay, so now we'll do the other side. This is how I do the other side, the short side. I get the screwdriver blade right on it. And I think we've got just enough poking out here that we can get the pliers on like that and just force it over a bit so we've got that. Anyway, ooh, that's a bit stiff. But if we work it a few times, get the oil into the springs, um, we get it much smoother than it was. Also because we've got that oil on there, motor oil nice it's smooth okay so that should hold together because we've got that metal staple in and if it does get loose well, let's just straighten out this this end curve here I like to straighten that out a bit like that this helps the trap to uh, and let's just bend this release tab here a little bit make it more sensitive and that's not really sensitive enough for me. No, we've got to bend it a bit more to the left. Make it more sensitive. That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. And... Might as well get rid of this little screw here. Someone put the screw in and... Anchor the trap with a wire around the screw. That's good. Except I like to use the cord at the back. Okay, so. That's good. Right. So where are we? I'm going to put our bait cap on. Anyway, I've done this, I've gone through this on several other videos. We do the bait cup, we put the nails across the front, we put the anchor cord on, <clears throat> and um, I've produced several, probably about six earlier videos uh, showing how to set up a new Victor Rat Trap, which is this, sort of the same as this. But the reason I did this video particularly is to illustrate the Rusty Springs. So if you don't put oil on rusty springs, it's very, very hard to operate the trap and the arm is very stiff and it just doesn't work very well. But once you oil the springs and work the oil in, it's like a new trap again. Smooth, uh, full power and no problems. So oil your traps. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for checking out the Rat Trapper's Handbook on Amazon. That's my book. You can get it as an ebook, you can get it as a paperback book. And it's got all my basic rat trapping secrets in it, all my techniques. And uh, it's worth, if you've got a rat problem and you're having problems solving it. Buy the book and study it. And watch all of my videos on YouTube. I've got about 170 videos up now on YouTube. So watch them all, study them all, absorb the knowledge. Um, and uh, you should come off a lot better than before you watched them. Because I've been trapping animals for 58 years and um, hunting animals for 
also for big, big game animals for 20 years. Tracking, hunting, trapping, poisoning, small animal stuff. There's a lot of experience there and it's in my videos and you just have to sit down and absorb that and your trapping rats should improve dramatically. Okay, bye.